figured I would do a second video just to kind of continue on what I last had there with uh, describing the gearbox and how it works and why Pottsville's mobile directo goes so fast. Anyway, so like I was demonstrating in the previous video, it does have this high-low. Right now it's stuck in low speed. So we can turn the input. And it does really rotate very slow. See how small, slow that goes? No, you can see that. This is the clutch. So you turn this knob in or out to kind of adjust the clutch. So if the rotator will get hung up somehow or jammed, this will spin and won't destroy the belts or the gearbox. See, it goes to just a simple pulley wheel on the track. And you can see it rotates very easy. I'm barely rotating, putting any rotational force into this. And it's, I mean, you're rotating the whole entire siren. So it goes to show you how free rolling that is. Anyways, so on Pottsville siren, instead of having a low range like this, they actually have it in high range. So if we actually go ahead and we move this in, kind of move it in, so we'll get the cogs kind of set in, in there. All right. So we got that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to do this with two hands. There we go. Anyways, okay, now we're in high speed. So now you can really see it move. I mean, yeah, it sure appears slow now, but it's going faster than what it was before. Of course, look, I'm, <laughs> this is pretty slow. So if you get this even above idle speed, this thing's going to be cranking. <laughs> Never mind getting crankshaft speed up to govern RPM of, you know, 2,600, 3,000 RPM. Holy cow, this thing is moving. So you can see, you can play around with this. You can slip this, and you can even reduce the pulley size. You can <laughs> I mean, there's actually a more of a limitation of how big you can make this pulley that could make it even slower. It's actually, it's easier to go even faster, so... Maybe we'll do that for fun sometime. Maybe see if we can get a 20 RPM siren. That, that'd be pretty fun. So that's that's kind of the basics there. So I just figured I'd show you how the rotator works on a mobile directo. I think the electric ones are extremely similar. I don't know if they went to a one single speed or they all had this two speed, but my particular one has the two speed.